We are back in Overland Park, Kansas. So we are doing like a little bit of a display up here as well as for the enjoyment of the homeowners. And then also huge part of it is we want this to be very visible from all around. We want it to be visible from out on the street, out on the corner, from the front porch of the house, all throughout the yard. That means we really need to keep in mind our angles and try to keep the viewing area on this as much of a 360 view as possible. So for today, trying to get our reservoir excavated. We already have a decent pile of dirt here that we're gonna to use to help create our berm. Go ahead and try and get our aqua blocks in if we can before we get out of here for the weekend. And then we'll be back here next week setting urn pieces and start figuring this whole thing out. What you got there? Aqua blocks. David here. Kevin sent it off with me. We're closing out the vlog. But anyways, we are wrapping up for today. We got the reservoir right over here. You can tell right behind me. All locked in. We're filling at the moment so that over the weekend because we got a couple things we got to do for tomorrow. So we're not going to be back till next week. We're going to get the hell out of here. So we'll see you guys next week. It is day two. Well, kind of. Um, it's the afternoon here. Only gonna get about a half day worth of work in, but we figured we could go ahead and get some of these urn pieces set up and just figuring out the alignment and uh, how we want this all to situate in this space. So basically we have two large urns, one medium urn, and I'm going to break them up into four pieces by using one of the large urns completely whole by itself, the medium urn whole by itself, and then taking the bottom off the bottom section off of one of our large urns and creating a fourth piece out of it by cutting uh cutting into it and customizing it with uh, some spill slots coming out of there so definitely a custom feature here and really really excited on getting to put this thing together i love when we get an opportunity where we just have guidelines and general parameters that we need to stick within rather than an exact plan uh, because this allows our creativity and some of the artistic uh, qualities and effects to come out while we are putting this thing together. That is enough rambling for me here. We are going to go ahead and see what we can get set here in a half a day and then we will be back for the rest of the week to get this thing all up and running.
yeah, we got one urn right there set, but Kevin will take care of everything else just because we had a shift from this another job to this one. So yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We are wrapping things up here for today, getting ready to get on out of here. Very pleased with the progress. We'll be back here tomorrow. Uh, looks like we have rain for Friday, so hoping to get this thing at least up and running on Thursday before we get out of here. So that leaves us two more days. I think we can get this thing all plumbed and up and running before then. Uh, probably still have some finishing touches and dirt work and so forth, but it'd be awesome if we could see something on this before we get out of here this week. I'll see you guys in the morning. Day four, back at it here. I actually remembered to pull my camera out this morning. So gonna go ahead and give you a little lead in from the top here today. We are working on a lot of gravel and setting and locking things in here today. We were able to get the majority of our urns and fountain features kind of laid out here yesterday. I am gonna add a sphere in as well on the back corner um, of this fountain as well. But the reason I'm adding the sphere onto the back of this is uh, when I was over on the front porch yesterday when we were kind of cleaning things up and looking around, I realized this back corner, there isn't really a whole lot that you're gonna be able to see from a certain part of the front porch. And I just wanna make sure that there's good visibility and interest from all the way around there. So we're gonna go ahead, try to add some extra pizzazz here on the side to make this look a little more interesting from the front porch. We're gonna go ahead and jump into things here and see what we can get done. Yeah. We got it way too late, but here we go. Getting ready to fire things up here. 
This thing looks awesome. I cannot wait to see water running on it here. We're gonna get packed up and get on out of here as soon as we get this thing up and running. So you guys, we'll see David here in just a second. He's gonna get you all wrapped up for tomorrow and then we'll show you guys some final shots whenever I come on back by here later on this week. All right guys, it is David, AKA Tran. I am on the camera today because Kevin is not here. I'm here to do whatever I can on this water feature right behind me. Cody is getting all of our dirt right now so we can build this berm all around the water feature so that we can make a little bib so all the water can go back in. Adios, goodbye, have a wonderful time.